breaking news that we are tracking after the industry growth has come to a grinding halt. The finance minister addressing a press conference there. The latest news that we are tracking at this hour is the prime minister and the finance minister have questioned the SNP motives. The government has rushed into damage control mode over the SNP and predicts economic bloom. Well, this is the latest bit of breaking news that we are tracking. The government uh, completely at a sense in a denial mode. Uh, Pranab Mukherjee there uh, preparing, uh, saying very clearly that uh, it is a dismal, the kind of growth rate and the industry growth rate uh, right now. He also went on to say that the turnaround is just around the corner. Well, this is the latest bit of breaking news that we are tracking at this juncture there. Uh, the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee questioning SNP motives. The government has in fact rushed into damage control mode on this juncture. Now clearly in what is confirmation of the sluggish pace of growth and worrying news for the Indian economy, the IIP for the month of April is down to 0.1%. The index of industrial production was 3.5% in March and now has taken a further dip. The government clearly concerned over the issue. Let's cut across to my colleague Rukmani Vishwanath getting us the very late latest. We were going to go across to Rukmani in a short while from now. Mayur Cha is with us. He's been... Uh, Getting us the latest on this bit of breaking news. Uh, Mayur, there is still a sense of deny, deniability which the government is facing. If you look at it, uh, the press conference the finance minister just addressed a, sh a short time back uh, still seems to be in the denial mode. Uh, exactly. That, that's precisely the point here. The government is not denying the fact that uh, the growth has indeed hit, the, uh, hit rock bottom now. The government is in a denial mode uh, on the assertions by uh, agencies like SNP, which says that the um, sluggish growth today is a result of lack of political consensus. Now, however hard the government tries to deny it, actions speak louder than the words. Uh, the fact that the finance minister did not attend the all-important meet convened by the prime minister, now that fact cannot be denied by anyone. And then the prime minister coming out and defending it by saying that the finance minister was not actually needed uh, does not do any um, good to the uh, perception that there is a major... Uh, the lack of consensus among the uh, of policy makers. Uh, now, France Ministry has been trying to go on the same, uh, has been trying to bring the reserve back on the same pitch as the France, uh, as the France Ministry itself is, but that has also not yielded any uh, specific uh, results. Uh, so, um, how is the RBI going to respond? How is the France Ministry going to? Because all the concerned departments are talking their own language. So, there is a lack of, there is a clear lack of coherence, and now that is one thing. The government may say that SNP has a vested interest in saying so is that SNP is acting as a pressure group on behalf of the America. So all of that is one side. All of that apart, what the country now needs to look up to the government is to see how the government actually gets uh, addresses uh, the, the concerns of there being a lack of consensus among the top policy makers.